Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Francisco, and today we've got another hot topic to dive into. With the recent release of iOS 18, many of you have been reaching out about a concerning issue, which is overheating of iOS 18 after the update. So what's causing this overheating? Is it a bug, a glitch, or something else? In this video, we're going to dive into the possible reasons behind the overheating based on real user experiences. Plus, we will explore how to cool down your device, but before we start, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to keep receiving updates. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1. Why is my iPhone overheating after iOS 18 update? So alright, let's get into the first part of our discussion. Why is my iOS 18 overheating after the update? This is a common issue, and understanding its root causes can help us find a solution. So let's break it down. Here are 5 key reasons why you might be experiencing overheating with iOS 18. Increased background activity. After the update, your device may be running background processes to reference files and optimize settings. This can lead to elevated CPU usage and ultimately heat up the device. New features running constantly. iOS 18 has introduced several new features that may be active by default, such as improved location services. These features can be resource intensive, which leads to increased heat generation. App compatibility issues. Not all apps are optimized for the latest iOS version right away. Some apps may not be fully compatible. Thus, they would malfunction and consume more resources, which can contribute to overheating. High resource usage apps. Certain apps, particularly games for those requiring heavy processing power, can put a strain on your device after the update. If these apps are running in the background or being used frequently, they can lead to overheating. Battery health issues. If your device's battery is aging or not functioning properly, it may struggle to handle the demands of iOS 18. This can lead to overheating as the battery works harder to keep up with the device's needs. Part 2. How to fix iOS 18 overheating heating after update. Top 6 Solutions Understanding these reasons can help you pinpoint what might be causing the overheating issue. Now that we've covered the why, let's move on to some practical solutions to help you manage that heat. Fix number one is Wondershirt Dr. Foam, the most optimized solution to fix iOS 18 problems. First off, we have Wondershirt Dr. Phone, an innovative software that addresses various iOS 18 issues without affecting your phone's content. This tool is a lifesaver, especially if your phone is facing critical iOS errors. Such issues can cause a lot of problems, including the constant iPhone overheating after iOS 18 update problem. Moreover, it offers an intuitive interface, making tool navigation seamless and requiring zero technical skills. You don't have to be a tech wizard to use it. With cutting-edge technology, it can fix even the most complex firmware issues like the black screen or being stuck in recovery mode. Depending on the issue, Dr. Phone offers two iOS system repair modes, standard and advanced. This flexibility tackles both basic and complex queries with the highest success rate. Now let's explore the steps to solve the device overheating after iOS 18 using the standard mode of Wondershare Dr. Phone. So first things first, download the latest version of Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer and launch the application after installing it. Navigate to the toolbox tab in the top left corner of the screen and select system repair. After connecting your iOS 18 device via an Apple certified USB cable, select iPhone as a device type on the computer to proceed. The next window will prompt you to choose the repair mode for your iOS device. Since we want to retain data during the process, select standard repair from the two available options. For the next step, you'll need to put your iOS device into recovery mode. Follow the on-screen instructions and click enter recovery mode to activate the mode. Once your device is in recovery mode, the platform will automatically detect the respective iOS firmware that can be installed on your device. Click download next to the iOS firmware you wish to install. The download will begin automatically, and once it's completed, the platform will verify the firmware before making it available to update your iOS device. Then click Repair Now to start the process. A progress bar will appear showing the completion status. Once the progress bar reaches completion, the next screen will confirm that the process is done. Press the Done button to conclude the repair and start using your iOS device with ease. Fix number two, close unwanted 
apps by swiping. Do you know why your iPhone keeps overheating even when you just updated it? One of the reasons for overheating is the multiple apps running in the background. These apps consume your phone's battery life faster, causing the phone to overheat quicker. Thus, to ensure a smooth workflow and better phone functionality, try closing the apps. If you don't know how to do so, let me show you on my iPhone device. After you access the main screen of your iOS device, swipe from down to up towards middle of the screen with your finger. This will provide you access to the app switcher to view the apps that are running in the background, causing the phone to overheat. Now swipe up on each of the apps to close them one by one to regain better functionality. Fix number three, increase your iPhone storage space. Another reason your iOS 18 is overheating as the full storage capacity, which makes the phone work a little harder. Therefore, by freeing up storage space from your phone, you can significantly reduce its burden, letting it cool down. Delete any unnecessary apps, videos, photos, and more to make space in your phone. So how do you free space from an iOS phone? Let me go ahead and show you. Get access to the settings app and press the general option. On the next screen, tap the iPhone storage option to get a detailed representation of which app or data is taking how much space. Now choose the unnecessary app or the one taking too much space and use the offload app or delete app options to free storage space from there. Fix number four, force restart your iOS device. Sometimes an iOS device may face random glitches or might have various software bugs that can overheat its system. In this case, the best solution is to force restart the phone as it can quickly get rid of any type of malfunction due to these temporary glitches. Restarting an iPhone is a straightforward process and I'll demonstrate it to you right now. To force restart your iPhone device, quickly press and release the volume up button. After that, do the same with the volume down button. Now press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears on the iPhone screen. Once your phone restarts, you should be good to go from there. Fix number five, reduce brightness and auto adjust screen display. As we've learned, having too many open apps can cause the iOS device to overheat in seconds. The same things happen if your brightness is at a high or at a maximum value. Therefore, reducing the screen brightness or auto-adjusting the brightness can immediately solve the overheating problem. Now follow along as I'll display how to reduce the iOS phone's brightness. On the settings app, tap the display and brightness option to access different brightness options. Enable the true tone option from the new screen, which will automatically adjust the phone's display consistent with the environment. Moreover, you can manually adjust the brightness by sliding the brightness bar from right to left, or in this case from control center from up to down. Fix number six, update your iPhone firmware. While there is a chance that the iOS 18 update caused the overheating issue, the solution to it is updating to next iteration. The reason is that issues in the current update are likely to be fixed in the next firmware version, especially since usually these updates help refresh your device because it's reinstalling iOS 18 once more. Additionally, you should always keep the phone updated to minimize the overheating risk. You can follow along to learn how to manually and automatically update your iPhone. Open the general settings on your iPhone and tap the software update to access both the automatic and beta update options. By pressing automatic updates, you can enable all the iOS and security updates which will automatically update the phone for you, thus resolving the overheating problem. If a new iOS update appears on your iPhone, press the install now button to fix the iOS 18 overheating issue. And there you have it folks, we've explored a variety of solutions to tackle the overheating issue with iOS 18, from adjusting settings to using powerful tools like Wondershare Dr. Phone. Whether it's optimizing your device's background activity or leveraging Dr. Phone's standard repair, these methods will help you keep your device cool and functioning smoothly without losing any data. Remember, overheating can be frustrating, but with the right approach, you can keep your iPhone performing at its best. I hope you found these tips helpful. If this video gave you some valuable insights, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more troubleshooting tips just like this and tech solutions. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments below and we'll be happy to help you out. Now, until next time, have a great day.